The United States Department of Commerce has announced a $1.6 billion investment helping Texas Instruments expand its operations. The funding comes from the CHIPS Act, aimed at ramping up American semiconductor manufacturing. Fox 4's Alex Boyer, live with more on the economic impact to our area. Alex. Hi, Steve. You know, this is the third investment in Texas since the CHIPS Act was passed two years ago. Uh, this $1.6 billion investment will help Texas Instruments expand its semiconductor manufacturing here in North Texas and beyond. Texas Instruments is paving the way when it comes to semiconductor manufacturing in the United States. We think it's going to be great not only for the company, but I think it is also good from a supply chain point of view. In May of 2022, the North Texas-based company broke ground on its newest semiconductor plant in Sherman, 60 miles north of Dallas. Once completely built out, the plant will employ some 2,000 workers who will produce much-needed chips needed to power all sorts of technology. On Friday, TI got a massive infusion of cash from the federal government. Well, I think it's very significant. We're very excited. Mike Rosa is with the Dallas Regional Chamber. The U.S. Department of Commerce announced a $1.6 billion investment in helping Texas Instruments expand its operations. The funding is a result of the Bipartisan Chips and Science Act. To see those dollars come back to Texas for us to get our fair share uh, of this massive program uh, is, is fantastic. It's Texas's latest win in the race for semiconductor dominance. Taiwan-based semiconductor part producer Global Wafers recently received a portion of a $400 million investment from the Biden administration for its Sherman facility. As an educational institution, our goal is to produce students that are uh, well trained. Dr. Ted Moise is the director of the North Texas Semiconductor Institute based at UT Dallas. Moise says TI plans to have approximately 93% of semiconductors produced solely in the U.S. by 2030. It's really anything that plugs into a wall, anything that, that requires power almost always uses a TI chip. And the analog chips really are the interface to the real world. With the ramped up production of chips in the U.S. comes a need for a skilled workforce. UT Dallas already opened a new research facility to advance semiconductor technology and test electronics in this highly specialized field. We got a look at one of these so-called clean rooms where chips are made. So for us, it's really exciting because it further proves that all the effort that we have put all the training that we have put together is finally going to pay off. And once these facilities are complete in Sherman, I'm told that they will be able to produce a million chips daily. Uh, the chips are used in virtually all things that we use on a daily basis, electronic systems uh, like sensors, amplifiers, and much more. Steve. All right, Alex Boyer in Dallas. Alex, thanks.